What's going on, guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS bringing you yet another brand new video. And what we're going to be showing you guys today is an arranged war, our first arranged war, week one of the CCL. What is the CCL? That stands for the Clash Cup League. Down in the description below, I'll have a video linked uh, to Adam's channel where you guys can check out exactly what uh, the CCL is all about. We're not gonna explain it in this video. This is gonna be a war recap where we had Forge from Steel uh, who took on Elite Gaming and what a performance uh, by the guys and girls over in Elite Gaming as you see it right there on the screen. Uh, Elite Gaming pretty much putting on the smackdown uh, on Forge from Steel, the final 101 to 106. It was a very, very fun war, a pretty heavy breakdown. And again, this is a no dip league, no dipping. Uh, the breakdown was 717. And as you see, these guys got three. Check that out. One, two, three, 11 v 11 triples. I don't know what is in the water over in Elite Gaming, but they are looking red hot. Uh, not to, whoops. Uh, not to mention, these guys put up, what was it, six 10v10 triples. Uh, they had a total of six, uh, again, top to bottom, an amazing performance by Elite Gaming, not to mention that their Town Hall 9s hit at over 70%, scouted all of our Town Hall 10s. A majority of those were for two stars as well, which did help them nail down these 10v10s. And like I said, their Town Hall 9s, absolutely brought it as we pan down on the map uh but yeah hands down big shout out to everybody over in elite gaming uh here's what we did to their side of the map kind of a lackluster performance as far as 11 v 11s go we did have everything doubled uh but we did not have an 11 v 11 triple however we did put up a solid four 10 v 10s uh so i will be showing you guys those replays as we go ahead and check these out uh but yes i will be showing uh each of these uh town hall 10 three stars but like we always do oh and we did clear all their nines with our nines but hit at barely over 50 percent uh, i think we might have had one or two scouts but we'll go ahead and check out the very first attack this is a little easier uh where is it here it is uh zaraki kempachi uh aka steve uh you guys are gonna see uh, an amazing, an absolute ma amazing tri zap dragon attack. I absolutely have been loving this attack at Town Hall 9. Uh, and ZK has been very, very successful with it as well. Uh, notice how he zapped the three o'clock compartment. And you can see, look at the value he's going to get from this baby drag. No other air targeting defenses in sight. Uh, baby dragon going to be doing work. So that's the idea. You zap uh, those two ADs in the ad cannon compartment create that funnel uh, with the baby drag heroes uh go together down here at six o'clock walking up to uh up towards nine uh and just shaving you can see queen can reach all those air targeting defenses from over the wall uh you basically spam your dragons in get some loons down hoping to pick up uh some seeking air mines on their way in nice raid spell uh to lead everything in uh, to that expo and again this is a fresh hit so did not know what was in the CC. As you can see, there was that one air defense left over there on the, on the kind of on the bottom left-hand side where he did have a maxed uh, hound coming out of the CC, followed up by a few of his own loons that he dropped a haste with. And you can see these dragons kind of chasing around. Uh, the I think those were ground skellies. Uh, we also had a couple archers, I think, running around. Uh, but dragons are back on course and even if you look even if you look at what's left in this base just to kind of highlight how powerful this attack is uh, we still have an expo and archer tower and we also have three teslas left up with all kinds of high hp buildings surrounding them but look at how many dragons he has we're gonna go ahead and times four this uh, as you can see this base was completely smashed kind of came down to time but was still overpowered uh considering how many dragons he had left up versus air targeting defense an amazing attack uh from zaraki kempachi uh so that was the first of two town hall nine attacks uh that i will be showing you guys uh next up which one is it this one alzheimer taking on number uh 39 uh doing it with a cb mass hog attack 
uh, bring in 12 wizards in the camp, have a couple archers, and notice the spell composition. We have a pair of poisons, one of those being maxed in the CC, and we do have four heal spells. Nice lure uh, to go ahead and grab the the baby drag and the Valks out of the clan castle. Gollum down. Notice he doesn't even have wall breakers. Uh, pretty much is going to be setting a defense funnel for the hogs as they're going to be coming in from the upper left hand side of this base. Uh, nice poison spell to catch the CC. And basically just setting his king. Uh, kind of getting lucky here again. This also being a fresh hit. Uh, I ended up finding the farm on uh, this first hit, so that was absolutely huge. And you can see he's basically going to be suiciding his queen uh, to go ahead and grab the enemy archer queen. And notice he is taking out some archer towers in his route uh, to take her out. There she goes. Archer tower down. Here comes the hogs. Uh, they're going to be coming in on these cannons, this mortar. And he's going to be dropping the CC up here at about 12 o'clock as well. And basically, I mean, it's not so... I mean wasn't really surgical just kind of spammed him in uh almost almost asian wall style um and you do have these uh four healing spells uh healing spells these four heal spells to pretty much as you're going to see cover every last nice troll uh every last defense of the base uh he did save one poison uh did drop the max poison on the enemy cc did save his own poison to go ahead and take care of the ground skellies for those of you that do not know, ground skellies absolutely wreck hogs, uh, especially on these mass hog attacks. Uh, even had a giant bomb, didn't even notice that. Uh, even had a giant bomb by that troll Tesla, uh, but not going to. And he's going to go ahead and wrap it up with a three star, very, very nice uh, CB mass hog attack uh, from Alzheimer, aka Brody. Uh, we'll go ahead and move up now. Again, those are our two Town Hall 9 replays. Now we'll go ahead and check out some 10v10 action, uh, which we always love. This right here, a Treasy, um, AKA Dirty G. This was absolutely huge considering the fact that this was a fresh 10v10. Uh, like I always say uh, in the videos, not only, I mean, is it amazing, just an amazing feeling to get a 10v10, but getting a fresh 10v10 is even that much more incredible, uh, which is exactly what he did dragons. If you have to hit a base fresh and you think you can get a dragon attack off, that is by far one of the best, uh, this is one of the best attack strategies, uh, uh, either being clone bone or this attack strategy, we are bringing uh, the rage, the heal, and using haste on the back end. So it had a little kiwi walk over there at three o'clock, walking down to six. Archer Queen up at 12, uh, where he's gonna go ahead and get uh, some of this trash out of the way, set the funnel for the dragons, and to take out this air defense, even gets a bonus Tesla as well. So very, very good value on that uh, when he suicided his queen up there at 12 o'clock. Did drop two rage and a heal, trying to heal up those dragons uh, before they have to take on uh, the two infernal towers as they are taking some damage as they're coming into this core. Here comes the max hound out of the CC, and notice he does not have a clone spell. Uh, just went heavy with his uh, other elixir spells. Uh, Hasting the loons in, nice rage, and also had a nice heal spell down there uh, on uh, these balloons. And you'll see he did haste in about four to five loons over at nine o'clock. Uh, there was a pretty easily reached air defense right there from over the wall. And as you guys can see, still has a whole bunch of loons up. Still have some uh, dragons left uh, up as well. Uh, very, very nicely done. And this was done pretty early on into war. An absolutely beautiful attack uh, from a Treasy, a.k.a. Dirty G. And here we're going to go ahead and check out our next 10v10 triple from none other than Jacob. An absolutely gorgeous, well, kind of towards the end it got kind of shaky, uh, but absolutely gorgeous uh, Sui Hero Lalo, King and Baby Dragon on the dark, uh, what is that thing called? The dark elixir storage. They're going to be walking down and notice he is going to get amazing value on this. Uh, this base was hit a couple times, uh, one with uh, Sui Hero Lalo. And so just had to clean up a couple things. We did know that the farm was here. You're going to see him get incredible value from his queen. The first time we did it, uh, did this attack, the queen ended up walking down. Check out what Jacob's queen does. The smartest queen I've ever seen. She's going to go ahead and go back up. Notice he still has the ability. 
where she's gonna be able to we, uh, uh, reach that wizard tower and that archer tower right there. A huge, uh, huge value uh, for this uh, Sui Hero Lalo. Goes ahead and drops down his two camp hounds, followed up by a whole lot of loons as they're gonna be heading in uh, to this first air defense, followed up by the Expo and the Inferno Tower. And notice he does have a couple skeleton spells that he's dropping inside of the Rage, not only helping the loons, but helping those skellies take down the enemy Archer Queen. Notice that cannon right there ends up dying. Uh, if he dropped a couple loons, you're gonna see his loons kind of take a nasty path out to that cannon. There they go. Uh, this would have been absolutely even more crushed than it already was, but that one cannon, when you're looking at uh, loon pathing, uh, something like that cannon uh, can be devastating. Jacob ends up rebounding very, very nicely. He is all out of spells, but when you look at what's left, all he has is that cannon and that air defense beating on his pups, but that is way too many loons uh, for that inferno tower to, to, take, uh, to, to take out. And ends up one-shotting it, just a uh, cleanup left. Very, very nice attack uh, by Jacob. Absolutely love that classic Sui Hero Lalo with a skelly for the queen. Amazing value uh, that he got from that from that Sui Hero Lalo. All right, next up we have Tadpole, uh, Mr. Queen Charge in action here. And he is going to be starting his heroes down here at 6 o'clock. There goes Queen. Uh, King on the army camp is going to go ahead and have uh, a wizard behind just to help him uh, with a little bit more DPS as he beats through some of these buildings. And notice that he waited to drop his healers uh, until the archer queen started taking damage. Last thing you want is for your queen to be full health. You drop your healers and they head straight for the king. So very, very nice patience there. Uh, so he is uh, going to be charging into this uh, air defense uh, cannon expo bomb tower compartment. It does have a couple loons. Notice he also drops down the baby drag. So uh, that baby drag starts taking, uh, tanking the archer tower for his balloons. Goes ahead and takes that out. It's all about setting up the funnel for the queens, getting her to go exactly where you want it. Uh, so uh, that elixir pump goes down. Queen heading in. Hasn't even burned a rage yet, guys. Uh, there goes the first one as the CC is coming out. Uh, goes in and drops down poison. Not only is he getting uh, the, the enemy loon, but also having enemy queen inside that poison spell. Uh, very, very good value. Uh, does have a wizard and a minion to go ahead and help out with these pups as well. Uh, so he's going to go ahead and take out uh, this expo and just is going to be taking out a few more buildings before he starts the flight portion over at about 4 o'clock. Uh, gold storage is down. Air sweeper is down. King pad or queen pad down. Uh, all before healers do eat one. Sam goes in and drops that rage. Pops ability just in time uh, to take out that inferno tower uh, before the queen started or before the king started beating on her. Uh, so very, very very good execution right there and she's just beating on the cc here comes the hound loon portion again starting over here at four o'clock goes ahead and drops down a pair of haste here comes uh his cc hound flying out uh, and has a nice rage for that uh second and final inferno tower they're going to collapse on these wizard towers uh, does have a heal spell to heal those uh, loons up before they get to that Inferno Tower. And the Expo still has one more haste and a few loons that he drops over on that Tesla over at about 10 o'clock. And that haste pretty much gets the loons to all the last uh, defenses. So very, very well executed Queen Charge Lalo uh, from Tadpole. He has been absolutely wrecking bases uh, with this attack lately. And this one was no exception. Uh, so very, very nicely done to Tadpole. That was our third 10v10. We still have one more uh, that we're going to go ahead and show you guys. We'll go ahead and get back to the war map. There we go. And here we have, we're going to go up to number, which one? Uh, number 16, where we have Scarface. Scarface was so close, you guys, <clears throat> to a 10v10 six-pack. He did hit their bottom 10. What was it? Number 20 three number 24 something like that ended up getting a 98 percent uh on a queen charge minor attack uh so now we're gonna go ahead and see him he's gonna try to redeem himself here uh with another queen charge minor uh he did have one he also had a 10v10 using this attack strategy 
against a range war that we had against Emphatic Elite uh, about a week ago. Uh, so he has been doing very, very well with this attack. I uh, did have that poison to go ahead and uh, slow down enemy queen as his queen and healers were inside that raid spell. Going to go ahead and drop down his next poison as uh, his queen took out enemy queen. Uh, that poison is going to go ahead and take out the loon and also help with pups as there is a hound that came out of the CC. He's also going to be bringing his miners in over, uh, well, starting between 3 and 4 o'clock is where his miners are going to be uh, starting uh, or where they're going to be entering at. And notice he can get to uh, both of these wizard towers. Uh, so just going to get amazing value from this little charge right here. Didn't, you know, it wasn't a, a queen charge where he's bringing 12 wall breakers. Just wanted to get into that six o'clock compartment and let that queen work through this base. Uh, goes ahead and gets uh, that wizard tower down right in the core. Going to go get and go ahead and get uh, that Tesla and that other wizard tower over on the left hand side. And you can see miners are in. Does have a really nice Kiwi walk working uh, from three o'clock up towards that town hall. Uh, just trying to keep as many miners inside the base as he can uh, before that king goes down. Getting amazing. But look at how many miners that he still has up. And he's also bringing uh, a few hogs to this raid as well. Going to get some good value uh, from those hogs. Bomb tower down. And notice being nice and patient uh, with this attack, you're only bringing three rage. Well, only three rage. You're only bringing two heals. You're bringing three rage. Uh, so again, just gonna get, you wanna get as much value out of those heal spells as possible, which is exactly what he does. Notice queen is still working. Uh, already used ability. But if you look at what's left, uh, with he's only going to have one point defense on his queen uh, as she's rounding the bend here over at 9 o'clock. And you can see, look at how many miners. It always kind of looks like they're petering out, but look how many miners are just outside the wall versus how many defenses are left. You have a couple archer towers and you have one inferno tower, but you just he just has way too many miners uh, left up uh, for this base to handle uh very very nicely done i believe this was i believe this was a tier five i believe this was a fully maxed uh defense uh town hall 10 uh so absolutely huge those were our uh four 10 v 10s huge shout out uh to scarface always looking very very solid uh on the forge from steel side uh, and that's pretty much going to wrap it up again we didn't have unfortunately uh, we didn't have any 11 v 11 triples of this war we did kind of have like i mentioned we had a range war against the fact elite where we did have an 11 v 11 uh so we do hope to get some more uh as we as we are doing this ccl which are midweek arranged wars i believe there's eight maybe 10 clans don't quote me on it uh that are a part of this uh, so it is a unique opportunity. You know, we're going to take advantage of it as much as we can. Midweek arranged wars with some awesome, awesome clans. Stay tuned to the channel for more coverage on the CCL, uh, which is the Clash Cup League. And I, of course, I hope you guys enjoy the video and the attacks featured in the video. If you did, uh, make sure you like uh, you like it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. As always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you in the very next video.